Hi everybody, this is Michelle with Creative Operation. I have a project share for you that I think you're gonna really like, and this is something that I've wanted to do for years, and I'm talking literal years. This is a tutorial from Anne's Paper Creations, and she did this back in 2012, and I have adored it for a very long time, and I decided that I was going to make it. So I had from my local scrapbook shop found the Simple Stories Life and Bloom Papers, and they're absolutely gorgeous. And I bought them. I bought all the things to make stuff with. And then I thought, well, what am I going to do with it? So I decided to make this. So this is a purse organizer, accordion organizer that she did. And I will have links to her tutorial down below. I totally, this is not my creation. I totally went by her tutorial. On the insides, I did put a bunch of things. And we'll go through that during um, this particular video but I just wanted to share. So in her tutorial, she did have a, like a purse handle up here, but I didn't want to do that. Um, I decided that I was going to use just a ribbon, um, that you could slip on and off, but it's, it's, I just love how this turned out and I stuffed it full. So I got to show you what I put in here. So, um, here's the front here. I'm going to go ahead and just slip this ribbon off. So you could either do it like a belly band or untie it. So it completely comes off. So here's the front. And then here is the back. So I, I just, I just, I used like an entire pack of paper and the check paper that has, you know, it's kind of the companion pack. I did use that as well. So we'll start on this side. So I did add a couple stickers on the pattern paper here. And then when you open this up, um, really nice place for photos if you want and all that. So I just added some stickers from the collection and then left it pretty blank so you could add photos. And then you can see on both sides, there are accordion pockets. Okay. So again, went by her tutorial, but then I stuffed it full of things. So let me kind of put this back here and then I'll show you what I did. So part of the pattern paper collection had tags. So I just made a super simple tag booklet on the back you can do journaling and I just tied it with ribbon from my stash in here I made two little um using cut aparts I just made two little cards and I did use some of the dimensional um chipboard stickers here and then I added a couple um ephemera pieces here and they're just simple and then I used my um envelope um scoreboard and I created envelopes to go with them so just couple simple cards and I was just trying to use up all of the things um, in here so that's kind of what I did so here I did a just a simple waterfall pull out and this is one of the um, cut apart pieces here on the back and then it unties and then I just um, created a waterfall that you could put lots and lots of pictures on now I'm not going to have a tutorial for all of these things here um, this is a share video. I just wanted to show you what the possibilities were, but I was just super excited to share her accordion that I just, I just could not, I could not stand it. I finally made it. It's only taken me 11 years, but I finally made it, right? <laughs> I have had this in my Pinterest file forever. Okay, so then I made a couple extra greeting cards, and on here, what I did was I used washi tape and adhered them to... Um, some cardstock that I had um, put, um, you know, like score tape on, and then I just layered the uh, washi tape over top because I wanted to make sure it stuck. Because you know, washi tape doesn't have much of a um, much of a uh, uh, stick, so I wanted to make sure it stuck. So I used score tape and attached that down to cardstock and then onto the card front. So it, that turned out really pretty. And all of these are the the washi that comes with the collection. And then I did layered chipboard here little button with some twine and then the butterfly inside is blank and then on here I just used a piece of pattern paper and a couple of the tags from the collection that I just kind of cut down and then put one of the dimensional stickers on here and again this one's blank on the inside but just made a couple cards and then those can kind of stick in here would this not be a really cute gift for somebody I mean honestly seriously it would this one here I made a folio and I just used the checked paper that comes with the collection and I just squirted it at six and then I folded it up and created a pocket. So I just um, did it at, uh, I want to say eight inches. And then I cut this eight by, or six by eight 
um, piece of paper from the six by eight pad down a little bit, did a little edge punching, added butterflies here. And then on the inside, you can see there's, um, I added a couple pattern papers here just to make a pocket. And then there's the pocket here for the folio. So I used one 12 by 12 for the entire folio. This is a cut apart that I just created um, a photo mat with. And then I just added tags into the smaller pockets on the front. Okay, and these were tags again from the paper collection. So all I had to do was cut them out and add some ribbons and ta-da, I have that folder. And then I made a couple extra cards. So I was kind of using up my scraps. So this is kind of one of those patchwork paper things that I do where I just take little bitty teeny tiny pieces of scraps and put them together. So I made card fronts like that. And then I put one of the cut aparts here and just created a nice little card here. And then another one just like it, but this one's diagonal. And um, again, a cut apart on the front, just simple, but they turned out absolutely gorgeous, right? I mean, this paper collection is amazing. So um, one of my goals was I wanted to put something in every pocket. So I did, I stuffed it full. Um, here, let's start with this. This is just a tag that I created, used some pattern paper on the back, and then I just um, folded up the bottom to create a pocket. And then I just made a couple simple tags out of just plain white cardstock that I had and added some rub-ons. And that turned out really pretty too. And then I just stapled ribbon from my stash in here. So again, just real simple stuff to stuff. This would be really fun to do for like a swap too, um, a gift, a swap. Here is a giant envelope. I made the biggest size envelope I could possibly make using my scoreboard. And then I used a sticker here, one of the cut parts here and here, and then added some dimensional um, chipboard pieces here to decorate the front of the envelope. On the back, the dimensional piece here, and then I took the tickets from the ephemera pack, and then I created a tuck that will um, keep that closed and added one of the butterfly stickers here. And then on the inside, I just decorated with some pieces of ephemera. And then down in here, um, I made a couple of things. Well, first off, what I did was there was a bunch of ephemera pieces that were just giant. And I really wanted to keep those kind of separate so that if I did gift this to somebody, they could use these like on cards or scrapbooks or whatever um, and create whatever they wanted. And then I also took some of the leftover bits that I had and created some kind of cluster embellishments. So these are literally just stapled with one staple. I just kind of layered some stuff together and plopped it down. And so I made some cluster embellishments that I thought were really pretty. So um, that's something. And then I thought, well, I'll just tuck this in here and then we'll have just a nice big envelope full of joy, right? <laughs> and that goes in the larger pocket. All right, so then I'm gonna turn this over. So that's what that looks like. And we'll turn this over. Okay, and on this side, I just added the sticker here. Um, I loved that paper. It just had to be on the front of this album, that's for sure, or the front of this organizer, this uh, purse organizer, as, as you know, she calls it. Um, again, stickers here and a dimensional sticker here. Left it open for photos if they wanted, if you want. And then inside, more lovely goodies. And I made some different things in here. So in this front pocket here, um, I have this simple folio. This is uh, four by, what is it? I don't know. I don't know. Um, let me find my ruler. And this is about four by eight and a half. Okay. And then I did a little bit of a gusset here, added the chipboard here, and then I just created pockets with patterned paper here. And then on the inside tags from the collection, some ephemera pieces and one of the cut aparts here. And then just decorated it, used the rub-ons here. I, I told you, I bought all the things. I just bought all the things. Um, here I made a little cluster embellishment again with the tags, or with the tickets, I should say. And they're all loose, so you can do whatever you want with them. And then here is a tag that I just literally cut out and put a ribbon on, and then one of the cut-aparts. So I thought that was kind of fun to have a little folio here. And then um, I had to do one of my rosettes. So I did use some strips and I made a rosette and I put it on this graphic 45 tag I had in my stash, put one of the chipboard pieces on top and then just some ribbons from my stash that I thought matched and tied them with a little twine here. And I have this cute rosette tag. This would be really cute on a gift. So that tucks into that pocket. In the next pocket, 
Um, I created kind of a library card pocket here, and then I just made a tag with pattern paper, some sticker and ephemera pieces. And this particular tag does open up and you have some more stickers here. So you could write a cute message there and little cut apart stickers and just layered some things together and made that cute little thing. Here's some more cards that I made with more patchwork kind of papers and then cut apart. So I did make four of these type all together and just used up the cut aparts. And I, I, I just really wanted to create something that would be really fun and useful and playful and amazing. So uh, here I created another waterfall and this one here is um, four by six size. So just using some of the um, four by six cut aparts from the collection to create this waterfall. So lots of picture opportunity up there. And I just, I love how this turned out. And then on the back, um, I put another cut apart here. You could use this for a photo mat and then one of the layered chipboard pieces that came with the collection. And then I just used some um, ribbon from my stash that I thought matched. And that ties up just nicely, but that's just kind of a, a nice thing to do. This would be um, a great idea for an album. Just kind of tuck it into a pocket. Just a really great little thing. And then um, here is a pen holder that I learned how to make and I will put the link down below but basically it has a little paper clip in here and I just put a pen in there and it just clips to the edge of your pocket and the reason why I wanted to put a pen in there is because I also decorated a little journal so this journal here is one that I got at my local craft store and I basically just covered the front and the back with leftover pattern papers and whatnot and just created some really fun things. So um, again, I just covered it. This I edge punched a little border piece that I had left over and put that down and um, layered one of the cardstock here. And then I created hidden paper clip tabs. And this is a new way of making hidden paper clips that I absolutely adore. And I will link that below too. And um, oh my gosh, I can't remember. Let me see if I can find her name super fast so I can give her a shout out. Lollipalooza, she made this and um, she did a great tutorial on this. And um, I altered a, the size just a little bit, but other than that, um, I followed her tutorial, so I'll link that down below too. So I just created those hidden paper clips and used them as tags. And then I added some of the stickers. So there's a lot of stickers in the collection that have like little words. Um, so I just use those throughout the journal so that, um, you know, you could um, use it as maybe, I don't know, guiding, guided journaling or anything you wanted. But I just thought that was kind of a fun thing to do. So, you know, like take note here. And um, just created that. I left the inside of the journal plain here um, on both sides. And then the back looks like this. So the back doesn't even really match the front. But you know what? I like it. <laughs> I absolutely like it. And I used up everything. So um, that's the project that I created. Um, this thing is... Uh, really quite large. Um, it's about eight inches tall total and it is nine and three quarters inches wide and each side has five gusseted pockets and she shows you how to put all of that together and then each side has a nice flap. So I could see me making more of these and I can also see like doing because you can see it's basically two you know pieces put together um, as she does it. So you could do it like, you know, just one side if you wanted to. Um, I could see lots of uses for this. So I just think it's really fun to do. And I'll have links to all of the tutorials that I use that, um, you know, for like the paper clips and, and other things um, in here that I have been inspired with by other people. And um, yeah, that's my project. So I just wanted to share this um, project with you. And I'm so excited that I finally actually made it. <laughs> It's it's only taken me 11 years. Yeah, I was in 2012, almost 11 years, 10 and a half years um, to make this. But I finally did, and I'm super happy I did. So you got to love Pinterest, right? When I'm kind of, you know, needing to do something, but my brain isn't quite like knowing what to do. I go through my Pinterest file, and yeah, I, I need to make that. So today was the day to do that. So thanks for watching. And um, I will see you soon with more tutorials and shares and projects and um, everything. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. And yeah, 
I'll see you later. Bye-bye.